get the process. God created you for a purpose, and that purpose must come to pass. Enough is enough. Stand up, leave them behind. Tell them I'm going somewhere. Somebody is holding a position on the right phone account. Somebody here must go home with the blessing. I will overtake them. I will overtake them. To believe that shout hallelujah. Right in you. With the hope. The hope I give unto you. What a mighty God we serve. This God is too much. And it's so big that the whole world cannot contain him because he's the creator of the whole universe. Do you have any problem? Come around. You will know that he can solve any problem. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you and will love you too. I am Dr. Messi Ezekiel. I welcome you to the hour of grace. And I want you to know that you are blessed because you are somebody. We love you. Genesis 37. We are going to read from verse 3 to 11. Now, Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than them all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. And Joseph dreamed a dream. And he told it to his brethren. And they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, Here I pray you, this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we are bidding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheep arose, and also stood upright. And behold, your sheep stood round about, I made a message to my seed. And his brethren said to him, Shall thou indeed reign over us? Or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. And he dreamed yet another dream. And told it his brethren and said behold I have dreamed a dream more and behold the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me and he told it to his father and to his brother, brethren and his father rebuked him and said unto him what is this dream that thou hast dreamed Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee to the end? And his brethren envied him, but his father observed the same. My dreams will not die. Please, please go along with me. I just give you some point. Go ahead. What did I say? My dreams, the more they are coming after you, the more you are dreaming. Everybody say, I will dream again. Please say it with all your heart. Say, I will dream again. And my dreams will not die. If you believe that, shout a louder, Amen. I want to prophesy to somebody today. Men and women will bow before your feet. Whether they like you or not, it's only that your dream opens the door for envy. <laughs> but if you don't want to be envy, don't dream. But as long as you are dreaming, there will be trouble. Everybody say, I will dream more. Let there be trouble. Because I have a purpose in my life. 
I don't fear. Because God is with me. And he will take me to my next level. If you believe you are going somewhere, shout Amen. Amen. Genesis 39, 2-4. And the Lord was with Joseph. Yes. And he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace in his sight. And he served him. And he made him oversee over his house and over all. And all that he had he put in his hand. Amen. Amen. Tell yourself, my dream. my dream. We move to my next level. Whereby my destiny, yeah. we speak. Say so what you say, my destiny. My destiny. Wake, up. Wake up. Say it again, my destiny. My destiny. Wake up. Say it again. My destiny. Wake up. Wake up. Walk. Walk. Run. Run. Overtake. Overtake. And recover all. In Jesus name. A lot of you, you are just limited. But God will remove that from your life. I want you to believe the word of God. Nothing can change the word. Is here and amen. And whatever I have said concerning you, you will bring it to pass. Can I hear you say, My destiny? My destiny. Wake, up. Wake up. Walk. Walk. Run. Run. Overtake. Overtake. In Jesus' name. Jesus. If you believe that, shout the louder, amen. amen. Take your seat. A man called. Caleb. We talked about Joseph. We've seen Joseph episode. How the Lord showed forth his favor upon him and grace. It is the grace that spoke over Joseph. Joseph was not an extraordinary person. It was just grace. Which grace can speak on anybody? Once the grace starts beaming on you, you shall be picked up. The Lord picked Joseph up among his brothers and showcased him. And the Lord is about to pick somebody up in this nation, in Nigeria, in your family. It's about to pick you up and to showcase you. And men will become envious about you. Men will hate you. So don't bother about that. If you are afraid that men will not hate you, they will. And when they hate you, the more they hate you, the more you are moving forward. So this season we... I just wanted to show you a man that had dream first. And another man called Caleb. Please, Pastor, read Joshua 14. Start from 10. And now, behold, and now, behold, behold, the Lord has kept me alive. The Lord kept me alive. And he said this 45 years. 45 years. Even since the Lord spake his words, unto Moses why the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness and now lo I am this day four score and five years old as yet as I am as strong this day as I was in the day that the Lord sent me and my strength was then even so is my strength now both for war to go out and to come in listen thank you This promise was made to Caleb. 45 years 
then. Then it was a dream. And he conceived this dream. And this dream was living in him. But during that time, suddenly, the man that made the promise called his dream died. But Caleb did not allow his dreams to die. Caleb was holding on to his dream. He held on tight to his dreams. And suddenly, he woke up like today. He said, give me this promise. Give me, I am still carrying this dream. I am still nurturing this baby in my life. I have not given up on my dreams. I have not given up on this promise you made to me. It's my destiny. And I must take it. While he was talking, some people who does not like his courage, they reminded him that there are anarchies inside that your destiny. That is to say, you cannot actualize your dream. That is to say, your dream was a natural death. There are anarchies, giant. And apart from that, you are now old. You cannot actualize your dreams. Your dreams must die with your destiny. And Caleb looked at him. He said, you don't understand. If God be for me, who can be against me? If the Lord has given me a promise, sure promise, no man can stop it. And so they were looking at him. He told them, I know there is war. War inside and war outside. But as long as God, live it on high. <laughs> I will take my destiny. I will take this mountain. I will subdue them and I will have it. Everybody shout, I will have it. As long as it is your dream, as long as as you know what you are called for as long you have purpose as long as you know that you are a child of God when you have a dream there are things that will discourage you so that it cannot manifest they told him they said this giant they are enough to kill you and he looked at them and he said, Oh no, the person that made the promise is not there, but I will go for it. Everybody say, I will go for it. He determined that his dreams will not die. They were looking at him. The giant was waking. And they were living inside. They were what? Living inside. And the Bible said they are great. They are not ordinary giant they are tall you know what giant is all about and every morning he noticed that those giants were there but he was holding up he held on to his dream he said even if you slay me I will serve you even if everything is wrong I will serve you I have made up my mind I will get this mountain I will subdue this mountain. I will take my place. I will take my position. I will not be a child of devil. I must be what God wants me to be. Can I hear you shout, Amen? Amen. So they were looking at him. And he told them, he said, he now reminded Joshua, he said, Joshua, come along. 
Come along. I'm sure you have forgotten my dream. This dream was given to me 45 years ago. But now I'm 85. I still want my dream. I'm talking to somebody. There is a promise God made to you so many years. I am asking you to say it. I still want my dream. Say it again. I'm not hearing you. Say, I am not giving up on my dreams. Though it tarry, it will come to be. I don't care how long it will take me. But I will have my dream. If you believe that, shout Amen. So, a lot of you here hearing the sound of my voice, you have a dream. God has a plan for you. But inside that plan, there is trouble. But you will get what you want. Yeah. Number one, for you to be able to actualize this, God must be with you. Number one point. God must be what? Be with you. If God is not with you, the man of God said, God is with me. Joseph said the same thing. God is with me. If God is not with you, you cannot fight the giant. You cannot fight what is fighting you. They will bring you down. Because it is God and God alone that can fight the battle of your life. So I prophesy to you today in the name of Jesus Christ that any area of your life where you are having battle, God will fight the battle for you. God will fight the battle for you because the Lord will be with you. The sun will not smite you by the day, neither the moon by the night. The arrows of darkness will never come near your dwelling place. Everybody jump up and shout, God is with me. When they were trying to harass him, Caleb told them, he said, you don't understand, God is with me. And if God is with you, Nothing to fear. Amen. Amen. And when Oga Joseph saw that God was with him, he loved him more. Number two, hold on to the promises from God. For you to be able to actualize your dream and move into your destiny. Number one, you should be able to know, have God with you. Number two, you must hold on. To promises that God has made. Caleb was holding on to the promises made from the mouth of Moses to him that he will give him the mountain. If you don't know the promises, you cannot have it. It is what you know that you will have. If there is a word God spoke to you in his word, it is a rhema God gave to you in his word. And suddenly because of problems, you lay it down. You will just remain where you are. In times of trouble, in times of shaking, go back and lift the word of God back to him. And tell him, God, you promised me this. And I know you will bring it to pass. So any promise God has made to you shall not fail. It will never fail. It will never fail. It will never fail. Stand up and say, Father, every promise you have made to me shall never fail in my life. I hold on to it and I believe it and I will have it. No devil will stop me from clinging to the word of God. The word of God will work for me. Say it again. I'm not hearing your voice. Say, I believe the promises of God. And I will have it in my life. It shall come to pass in my life. I am holding on. Nothing will stop me. 
I must have the promises fulfilled in my life. I believe it. I receive it. And I will have it. In Jesus name. Can somebody shout amen? amen. Number three. For your dreams to actualize. For your dreams to manifest. And bring out your destiny. Number one you must. Know that God is what? God is with you. Number two. Hold on to what? God's promises. No matter what it is. No matter what it is. And it's, it's those promises that is keeping you up to today. Can I hear you shout amen? A woman the Lord told her. You'll be a mother of children. 20 years. You know that woman? Who is the woman? Sarah. Sarah. Nothing happened. There is time for everything. When your time comes, God will clock you in. So you don't walk with someone else's time. God has time for you. So don't be in the haste. Don't run into trouble. Because you want to be like A. You want to be like B. You want to walk with their time. No. There is time for you. Ogechi Kamma. God's time. It's the best. If God has promised you that you will marry, don't go and marry anyhow. You see, after all, God has promised me. So anyone that is wearing trousers that comes on, you say that is it. No. Not every man that wears trousers is a real man. Sorry, men, forgive me, you know. So don't just end up your life because the promise has been made, you can't wait. A songwriter say, Wait, wait upon God. Though he tarries, you must wait for him. He will finish what he has started. Something good is on your way. So, don't give up on yourself so easily. Don't say because Mr. So-so is blessed already. So, you, you become hyper, hypertensive. You, you look at him, you say, after all, this man is riding moto. Then what stops me from not riding moto? Is that your own time? Because of that, you dip your hands into mess. You want to do this, you want to do that, you want to be like others. No, you are a different child. What do I say you are? Tell yourself, I'm a different child. Say, I'm a royal child. I am a peculiar child. I will wait for God's timing. Because my dreams must come to pass. And my destiny will not die. Somebody must hear about me. Amen. Turn around and tell somebody, have you heard about me? Tell him, tell him about you. Tell him or her about you. He doesn't know you. So tell him something about yourself. Don't close your mouth. Once you know whom you are, it gives you a hedge over your circumstances. They look at Caleb. They say, Caleb, the Irish giant. Caleb looked at his son and said, you don't know me. <laughs> I am not ordinary. I am a peculiar child. <laughs> I am called by God. I am ordained by God. I am personal by God. I am packaged by God. Somebody stop and say yes. yes. Some of 
you are ordinary. But I call you to step out of ordinary. Because you are going somewhere. And you get to where you are going. There is a door open for somebody. And no devil will close your door. Somebody say yes, yes. They might be mocking you now. <laughs> they might gather and be relaying your story. Yeah. I want you to tell them I'm coming. I am coming. My dreams will not die. My destiny will not die. Somebody jump up and shout, I am coming. Some people are not saying it. Is anybody coming? Tell them, don't waste your time. I'll get to where I'm going. Tell somebody, don't waste your time over me. I'll get to where I'm going. I'll get to where I'm going. I'll, 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 I will get there. I'll, 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 I will get there. If you believe that, shout Amen. You are making mistake. You are making mistake concerning me. Although the man that promised me is dead, but the promises of God can never die in my life. Is there anybody who can boldly say that? The promises of God in my life will never die. If you believe it shall never die, clap your hands for the Lord. No man, no man, no man can finish with you. I'm talking to you. No man. No man has the power to decide how far you can go in life. They might relay your past. They were trying to relay the past of Caleb. Say, Caleb, we used to know you then. Caleb said, You don't understand me. The Bible said, If any man be in Christ, his what? All things. And behold. They used to know you in the past, not now. Everybody shall say my story, don't change. Amen. Everybody say sure. Say this God, you too much. Tell them now, say you God, you too much. Make best use of every situation you see. There are situations that you think is the worst. That is the best. There are things the enemy will program. Thinking that I will kill this dream. They picked Joseph. They say, idiot. Come and fulfill your dreams. You think you have a dream? You have a destiny? No. We are going to put you inside the pit. You are going inside the pit and this pit there will be no water. You will die a natural death. But the Bible says all things are working together. For who? Is there anybody that has that word? Say it with me now. All things are working together for my good to those who who love the Lord and those that are called 
according what? You are a royal child. You are called. You are not ordinary. They thought his end has come. But they didn't know they were taking him to where his destiny will shine. I'm talking to you. Every situation you have found yourself, make best use of it. Don't kill yourself. Don't say, I am finished. You are not finished. You are not what? Finish. Until you finish. It is you will finish yourself. God is not unrighteous. God is a God of grace. Even when you mess it up, he will pick you. He will clean you up. He will put you back. So don't kill yourself. Am I communicating to you? Every situation, no money. Tomorrow there will be money. You came to the church today, there was no money to enter moto. Tomorrow, God will send a helper. Even from now. From now. Things will change. You are here today. Nothing is happening. Nothing. You don't know where to go. You don't know what to say. But I want you to know that from this moment, your story will change. A young girl, she was going to 40 years. And she found herself in that situation. And mouth was wagging. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody that wants to marry her, what about? They will go and meet the brother and say, you don't know her age. <laughs> Some of you are like, like that in this place. Onukube. <laughs> They will go and tell the brother, say, you don't know her age. She don't reach monopause, so no go. But in that situation, God was working something out. God will work out something for your will. You will not die in that situation. You are coming out of this situation. You are coming out of that situation. You are coming out of that situation. If you are that person, jump up and shout hallelujah. God was preparing a handsome, young looking man. While the sister was crying, he said, What have I done? Uh, anybody that wants to marry me, they will go and tell the brother uh, this, that I'm old. I'm do you know when the man that wanted to marry her came in this church? She just, this brother take cotton wool, block it, block the ears. Immediately they saw the brother walking after the sister. They went to the brother. They said, brother, you don't know. You don't know about this sister. Will I say somebody not tell you? We want to tell you now. You don't know her age. She de lie, she's almost 40. And the brother said, eh, I like him so. <laughs> Did you hear me? The brother said, waiting. <laughs> when they trouble the brother, trouble the brother. Quick, then they tell the brother, say, ah, you know, go born. The brother say, you know, they born for you, not me. Leave me now. I marry him, you know, born. I know marry him because of Piquet. I marry him because I love him so. God will raise men that will help you in your life. I speak to somebody hearing the sound of my voice. God will bring up men that will help you. God will bring up women that will help you. They will take you and help you and brush you and clean you. They will not mind whom you are. Receive it in Jesus' name. Finally, finally, 
this brother married the, the girl. The day of the wedding, the form clicks. You know, this one will be there. And they, ah, no, my name. You charm the brother. You don't go juju. You don't give the brother juju. That's why the brother is doing shima shima. The brother no get sense again. Anybody will want to destroy you, God will take care of them. I don't like your amen. Anyone that wants to turn your table upside down, God will turn their own upside down. Anybody that wants to waste you, God will waste them. I don't like your amen. Shout it better. Do you know this God? Immediately this sister married. It's okay. She took him. We just wait. We cross our hands. We are looking at the drama. Papa, Papa. She born boy. Papa, Papa. She born another boy. The mad will talk evil about you. They will come back to talk good about you. I said they will. God will change their thinking about you. God will change their talk about you. If you believe that, shout a louder Amen. Before their very eye, he born one, he born two. He took in again, born a girl. Then all of them, they now come say, Brother, we are sorry. When I say, Brother, are you sorry? When I know sorry, God is with me. And I heard his voice. Your enemies will beg bread from you. Another point. Stay humble. Stay humble. Because pride will destroy your destiny and dreams. Stay humble. Don't show off. Don't let people know you are this, you are that. Let Christ, let the life of Christ be seen in you. Let anybody that sees you see Christ. Be a living epistle. Be a living example. So that the glory of the Lord will be shown and your destiny will speak. Another one says, Forgive whosoever that has offended you so that you can release your own destiny. What do I say? So that you can do what? Release your own destiny. That person that offended you, you are just gnashing your teeth. You know, Kuku know whether you the gnash teeth. You will just be having a pretension when he or she will be enjoying himself. So the best thing is to forgive them. Joseph would have said, I will not forgive my brothers. He forgave them. And credit. Just tell them, say, no, Nasabi, what you think for evil for me? God turned it for what? For good. Release them. Let them go. Because if you don't release them, you'll be on the same level with them. They will stop you. May you not be stopped. Then number six. Don't live in sin. Because sin will hold you back. If you live in sin, you cannot kill the giant. If you are living in sin... You cannot take that mountain. Because once you touch the mountain, sin will appear. It will tell you, I know you. We are together. And because of that, boldness will go. When you see a sinner, a sinner knows they get what? Boldness. Boldness, they go. You see, Somebody who stole in the market. 
You see a small boy will beat him. Because what? He stole is a sinner. But if you are not a sinner, nobody can beat you. Nobody can talk to you anyhow. You will be as bold as what? As a lion. Because the boldness of Jesus will walk in you. But when you are not living right, you can't kill it. Your dreams will die. Your vision will die. And you end up anyhow. Number seven. He says, hang on there when there seems to be no way. Hang on there when there seems to be what? No way. Because you are, you have a man who is the way. Jesus Christ is what? Is the way. And he will make a way for you. When there is confusion, when you are looking at the mountain, you are looking at everything. Everything seems to turn around. You don't know where to go. You don't know who to talk to. Your friends are gone. Like Caleb. They abandoned him. They were looking at him. And they were saying, come and do it. Let's see you do it. He was holding on. He did not understand. But he understood that God promised him. And he will get it. There are times you will look up. Tears will fill your eyes. You don't know who can help you. But I know a man who can help you. And that man is who? I'm not hearing you. Say it again. Say, I know a man who can help me. And that man is Jesus. I want you to give me that name again. I'm not hearing you with the name. As many that love him shout the name louder. Some people are now shouting the name. You are not shouting it. Shout it loud. Take your seat. Say, give me this mountain. You know, things seem very rough. He was holding on to his belief. He was holding on to his faith. He held on. And mockers were mocking. Another thing you should notice is when you give to God, it releases your destiny, your dreams. Giving to God. Giving to God. Giving. This is the area a lot of Christians are spellbound. A lot of Christians, they don't know the meaning of giving to God. Because they believe if they give to God, how would they manage? Why don't you try God and give? And see how your destiny will work. I want to ask you one question in this place. A lot of you, the money you earn is not enough. But you still eat and drink. Am I right? Am I, am I communicating? If you want to test it, test it. You will notice that you will eat. And the money you have is small. But God will be multiplying it in one way or the other. You just notice you are eating. Your children are eating. Things are going well. Because you are a giver. When you tight hand, you will be suffering. But when you open your hand, more will come. So, when you cast your bread upon the waters, it will come back with what? More bread. It will come back and multiply it. A man had goat or sheep. Suddenly they opened the door. 
and this goat went away. When the goat went away, he tried to get it back. There was no way. But he started thanking God. He started giving. God, I know that someday this sheep will come back with other sheep. Eh? He believed that that sheep will bring other sheep when Miss Road, like his own goat or sheep that Miss Road. Do you know that what you believe and say works for you? Caleb looked at the mountain and he said, I will take this mountain. Although you might think I'm 85 or 80, but I will take it. And I will kill all these giants. And I will occupy it. The man said, leave the goat, he go come back. Suddenly, one day, this sheep started coming back with other sheep coming to his house. He told them, open the compound. Open the door. They all came in, killed him, and they entered. He locked the door. Because that is his belief. But you know we shall not do that. If you do that, you are an arm robber. It's not your own. If you open the door, police will catch you. But he did it. And when he did it, he didn't condemn him because uh, he wasn't born again. When you hear Dead Sea, it is dead because it doesn't give out. That's why it is Dead Sea. It does not release. And Dead Sea smells. When you see any pond around your, la around your house, those ponds are there. They don't let out. How many of you know what is called pond? They don't let out. Water will just enter. Enter. Suddenly, you will notice that it will start what? Smelling. If you have not noticed it, please, after this teaching, go back and notice it. It will start smelling as it is smelling. Watch mosquito. Mosquito will be there. Cockroach will be there. Flies will be there. You will not see any good thing around it because it's not giving out. So, when you are a child of God, you want your dreams to be fulfilled. Because he says, when you give, men shall be what? Shall give back what? To you. That is your dream coming back. Your purpose being fulfilled. Somebody, God will use somebody to fulfill your destiny. Because you are giving out. When you eat alone you die alone a young man died in the village and a lot of people were crying some people gathered and said hey, he don't die say idiot die say you, you, you normally eat alone you don't give to us may your life not end up like that if you want to enjoy your dreams we all need somebody to help us in life. I'm talking to you. You need what? Somebody to help your life. You cannot do it alone. Stand on your feet. You are welcome back. I know you enjoy the word of God, which is life. And I know your life will never ever remain the same. After you must have had the word of God. Please make best use of the word. Don't let your life be the same again. Because Jesus Christ is coming soon. Why don't you give your life to Jesus Christ? Today might be the only day you have. I call you to give your life to Jesus. And if you are sick, you are healed. We'll see you next week. Bye. Join me, Outreach.
and women every Wednesday at 4 p.m. prompt. And also every Thursday at 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. for Business Commission, where men and women are commissioned with grace to succeed in business, career, family life, and so on. At Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters, 10 and 12 Matik Salami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. Please outrage, reaching out to the troubled souls. Don't miss it. CPR, Jesus Christ is Lord. God has a plan for you. A plan to give you a bright future. Come and experience expository teachings and a powerful prophetic breakthrough service this Sunday at Christian Pentecostal Mission International with God's anointed servants. Rev. Dr. O. Isikam, the General Overseer. Rev. Dr. Mercy Isikam, co pastor, national and international coordinator and other anointed servants of God. Worship with us this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. At Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters, 10 and 12 Latif Salami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. You can also worship with any CPM International branch close to you. It will be a time of salvation, healing, deliverance in the presence of God. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. <laughs>